Resume the recording. Oh, hey, we got a Laura, too. Boom. Uh, Everything. You need your weight, your vest. Actually, yeah. Go help her. She's got weights in her car. Yeah. Vest. You, you tell her when you get over there. Ignore us. We do, like, right on time at the park. If not, like, slightly late. Everything's fine. Five, four, three, two, single leg toe touch. So you got your vest on. I'll vana for a second. We're in. Back stays flat. Reach down. We're staying all right side. Just up and down. 45 seconds right side. In three, two, one, go. Weight, jump rope, pole if you have one. You make me sad, Sharon. Just bring both. You're probably going to need both. Because I think the 10 is going to be too light for you. But we'll find out. We'll figure it out. We will definitely figure it out. I'm going to start carrying extra PVC in my car. It doesn't have to be long. Five, four, three, two, switch your legs. In five, four, three, two, go. Left side toe touch. Hi. Like, oh, I lost it. Just lost it. If you guys can hear any of this, you'll understand why I'm putting my face in my hands and crying and why I cry myself to sleep at night. This is it right here. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Lateral lunges, go. Lateral lunge, alternating lateral lunge. Three, two, go. Hey, 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 Katie, you're what? supposed to be in this pile of stuff right here. Remember, Vanna? Well, yeah, but Sharon's far away. I literally set this up here. You could be there. I think you'd be there. Maybe. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Say that. I make it cookies. Hey, you brought cookies? Yeah, but I don't know if they're good. I don't know if they're good. Oh my God, send help. Good. <laughs> good. That's okay. Uh, I need, I need, I need like a little help. Me. Three, two, one. Alternating reverse lunge. In five, four, three, uh -oh. two, go. <laughs> Remember, if you're at home, shoes are off so you can get those arches lifted. You can get those feet moving the way we want them to move. Anytime you have the opportunity to work out barefoot, by all means, work out barefoot. Barefoot, yeah, that's fine. It's a new thing. We got barefoot here. <laughs> we are working out with bear grills. I think that's what I want to name this. The barefoot ladies. The barefoot ladies. Barefoot ladies. I'm going to get everyone here a microphone so you guys can all hear this because it's just chaos. So that's what I need everyone else to enjoy this as we talk about the barefoot ladies. Go ahead, grab your jump ropes. Stop lunging, grab your jump ropes. We've got 45 seconds of jump ropes. What'd you say? And just throw them. Yeah, you're just going to throw them in the trash. We're not actually going to use those ever again. It was, it was, a, it was a lie. <laughs> jump rope in five, four, Three, two, go. Why would you put me over here? Technically, I pushed it right there. It's still an incline. This entire thing is an incline. And right over, and right over there is where Ava wiped out. <laughs> I think it was. She is. Well, you guys saw her limping around the next day <laughs> so gingerly. What happened? She uh, wiped out on her scooter. Oh, I know. Well, I was, uh, the day after. 
Yeah, just limp around like the little leg was gonna come off. Uh, five, four, three, two. Grab your wooden pole. Grab your something long and hard. <laughs> it's going right on your back. You're good. As best. So uh, it's going right on your back. Lunge position. And you're going to twist. Yep. So you've got the left leg forward. You're going to twist your right hand down to the inside of your left foot. Yes. And then back to center. Without doing that. Like that part there. Don't do that. So try it again, Katie. There. That's where we're going. 40. As straight as you can. Three, two, go. Yeah. Good. So, yes. Uh huh. And if you're barefoot, you'll notice that arch is lifting a ton. That knee on the left foot should be drifting out just a little bit outside that left ankle. That's okay. Should feel your glute, should feel your hamstring, should feel the arch of your foot. Laura, you also got to turn to face directly towards Katie because you're on an angle, so you're getting thrown slightly right. Be in front of me. But, sh but straight. Pretend I'm here. Five. Again. Four. Three. Two. Switch your legs. In five. Four. Three. Two. Go. Got to spin it to get here. Yes. Yeah. You'll notice one side feels better, one side feels worse. That's okay. Make sure that the right knee is now drifting out over the outside of your right ankle. There you go. Good. As you're making that twist, you really want to reach over there as best you can. You should feel the glute. You should feel the low back. You should feel the knee shifting out. Arch your foot lifting. Left glute is contracted. It's not just along for the ride. We're holding it nice and tight. We don't have ornamental glutes here. The hip flexor. Mm -hmm. and what does that tell you? They're tight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Five. Huh, somebody learns. Four. Three. Two. Pull. Where are you going with that pole? Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. No, no. Just leave it there. Just leave it there. So now you're going to that balance. So single leg balance. Fold forward and twist here. Pay attention to Vanna. It's all balanced. You're staying all on the – well, she's going left. So she's going there and then twist left. So that left leg stays all down, and you're not going to lift back up. You just stay down. Yep, so down, twist, there, and twist again. We, hey, lady, people are literally – No, they're literally looking in the screen. I can see what they're doing. There, and twist, and back to center. Good. And then twist again. There. You never come back up. In five, four, three – Two, go. Apparently today I brought the disgruntled Vanna, so now we know what we're working with. -uh. No, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, are you, are you, are you? Good. Remember, you're twisting towards the leg that's down. So if that right leg's down, you're twisting to the right. If the left leg's down, you're twisting to the left. Um. Do you want to teach in the vest? Do you want to build a snowman? Will you come back? Yeah. Do you like all the creases are going to be up in my face? Are you? Well, yeah. I think they're out. I don't know. Three, two, one, switch sides. In five, four, three, two, go. Yeah. Pretty much the endless endless flow of mitigate of of emails is to mitigate the people who aren't paying attention to their emails. So if I keep asking you, do you are you okay with no locker rooms? Are you okay not bringing a bag in? Are you okay with these things? When you get to the front desk and we say, hey, you can't have that suitcase with you. Because we yeah. There's actually a company that's, um, I'm sure there's going to be some sort of lawsuit about this, uh, but they're implementing um, heat signature checks. So when you walk through, it's just a heat scan. Like there's no more three, two, one. 
What if you're having a hot flash? Keep that wooden pole on your shoulders. We've got alternate. Ah, no, sorry. We got right side reverse lunge in five, four, three, two, reverse lunge. Go. Yeah, all same side. So all right side. Boom. So you're just hanging out right there. Yeah, but they they installed it in uh, two cons two casinos in Vegas in order to like basically sit on the floor. I'm sure there's other things that you can look at on there too. So if someone's winning and they're not nervous, their core temperature will stay low. I also feel like the AC is like blowing out like five times the normal AC rate in a freaking casino. Or my office. Nah. Well, I'm not saying it's yeah, foolproof. Office. I'm just saying that there's a company who's found I'm a way to... just kidding. Ugh, okay. angry Vanna. I'm just throwing it out there. Not that I've been in Vegas. You were supposed to be in Vegas. Three. Two, switch your legs. In five, four, three, two, go. Yeah. Yeah, I was going through my calendar when I was rescheduling all those uh, meetings, which now all the meetings should be lined up in the right spots. Um, and we're supposed to be in Albany on Thursday this week. Clearly, it's not happening. Although, fun fact, I can do this from Albany, so technically I can do this anywhere now. As long as I have access to the internet. And I'm 90% sure. Well, we're not actually going. It doesn't matter. July or whatever. Yeah. I can keep this going all day. All day. Sorry, then. I think it'll be real hungover on Monday, so it ain't gonna happen. What's July? Your sister, your, your freaking grandma. Three, two, one. Put that wooden pole down. Grab your weight. So in Katie's case, don't put the wooden pole down. <clears throat> We're going over the head, right side first, shoulder press. Abs are in tight, single arm, press up, press down. So Katie's just demonstrating she's got a long pole just because that's our weight for her. It's of any consolation, it actually is weighted. So just up and down in three, two, one, go. Wait, there's two in her car? Why don't you grab the other one? So? We could build a snowman. Nope. See, now I can't put this on YouTube. You're just cursed. I don't care. It's fine. Everything's fine. You could just edit it and make it so bacon. Ooh, bacon. <laughs> Oops, candy. Oops, candy. Everything Keep those abs tight. Hot. Keep those belly buttons in. Keep those glutes tight. Nice and tight. Just trying to get those joints all loosened up. <laughs> After we get through here. Five, four, three, two, switch sides. In five, four, three, two, go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Where are we at home? Abs are tight, glutes are tucked underneath. Press those knees out just a little bit. So remember those quads are firing up. Nothing gets to relax. Arch your foot is lifted, everything is working. So I made a little video that I'm gonna send you guys later once I can actually load it on YouTube. Interesting fact, you can't load two, you, I'm done with that thought. You can't load videos to YouTube from your phone without going live first apparently, unless there's something I'm not seeing, but you'll get that later. Five, four, three, two, Grab your ropes. This is where the fun's going to start. I know you guys are all nice and excited, nice and warm. All your joints should be nice and <clears throat> loose. With those ropes, Kitty, I need you to do something with your feet. Oh, that's not going to happen. Yeah. So you're going to hop. As you hop, you're going to twist the feet from side to side so that feet stay together. And you're going to hop. One, two. Yeah. Um, kind of like you're skiing. Ready? Go. Show her. Show her. Show them. Show them all. There you go. See how the feet rotate side to side? Left, right, left, right, left, right. Three, two, one, go. Or you can go left, right. It is your choice. You are all strong, independent people, and I don't have to, the right to tell you what you're doing. How's that sound? You can all do what makes you feel good. What'd you say? <laughs> I, uh, you seem like you're telling me what to do. I don't like it. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> <laughs>
15 seconds. I, I can't even. I'm done. It's fine. Everything's fine. Five, four, three, two. Alternating front lunges. No weights, just your best. In five, four, three, two. Go. Front lunges. Alternating. We'll get there eventually. Yeah. What? Make sure your weight is close by, though, because we're going to go into a wood chopper with that weight in a second. Yeah, you want to go up. It's easier to go up than it is to go down. What? Backwards up? Backwards up, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Which, uh, when you do what, the hop side to side? I'd have to look at the way your ankle is actually landing. I wasn't looking at that. Three, two, one. Grab your weights. We're going back into our lunge position. Right side is first. Remember, your dumbbell or your kettlebell is Katie's heavy metal pole. Uh, no, no, no. So you're going over the sides. Outside, like right leg is forward. Actually, make your left leg forward. Sorry, I lied. Left leg is towards the camera. Hands come outside the leg. Over the opposite shoulder. Boom. Right there. Remember, you've got a weight. I'm going to get you closer so you can see. I wouldn't so, put that camera that That's close. fine. You're fine. Everything's fine. There and over. Good. Remember, you have a weight or a dumbbell or a kettlebell. She just has a heavy metal pole. In three, two, go. There we go. It's right here. Yeah, right there. That's a good distance. You have to stay in that square at all times. Okay. You just live in that square now. That square is your home. If you can stay in the square for the rest of the hour, I'll get you more cookies. And those of you at home, you have to stay in the there squares for the hour. Cookies. Yeah, but I'll get you other more cookies. No, I, cookies. I don't know what that means, but we'll go with it. Other more. Other more. Are they Girl Scout cookies? I'm sure we can find some Girl Scout cookies. I'm 90% sure I can find some of those on Amazon. Not worth $458. Oh That's crazy. Oh, Five, four. Wait, Three, no. two, <laughs> switch sides. No, the cookies are not $458. The kettlebell was. In five, three, two, go. That was the one that Cindy sent us. Oh, you weren't in that. Yeah. So she sent us a, a screenshot. It doesn't of, do anything socially media. It was a text socially. message. Socially media. It was a, a picture of a kettlebell for $458. Outside to over the shoulder. Yep. Outside, over the shoulder. Outside, over the shoulder. Outside. I feel like that's too much. What? Oh, too well. much money. Oh, yeah. I mean, you sure? I don't know for sure. Well, I posted it on uh, my Instagram story. And I'm Sh saying it's not for me. Striker texted me. He's like, hey, I've got an 80 pound kettlebell. What do you think I can get for that? I was like, well, based on the math, you can get an easy grand for it. Okay. He's like, I don't even want to sell it, but I'm going to sell it if I can get a thousand bucks. In five, four, three, two, weights go down. We've got plyo lunges next. In five, four, three, two, plyo lunge, go. Ever think that maybe the plyo lunges hate you? Yeah. Oh, okay. As long okay. as you've thought about that. I'm glad that you've given it consideration. What? Dude, well, the people are paying for it. That's like the landmine. We talked about that a couple weeks ago. Eddie bought his for 25 bucks, the exact same one, 131. I thought he was kidding until I looked it up myself. I was like, oh, that's that's not that's not Photoshop. That's straight up. Five, four, three, two. We're going down for push-ups. Give those legs a break for a second. Keep those abs tight. They're hard push-ups. So your ribs are coming down your pelvic bone. You're trying to crush the earth underneath you. In five, four, three, two, wrong. go. You're not allowed to bring the poutiness to the group. Now Sharon's pouting. Oh, well, I was talking to you. <laughs> that all push-ups are hard? Yes, you are correct. All push-ups are hard. It's okay. You do what you can do. You go, do it feels good. Slid around with where they were. It did. Hmm. 
Ten seconds. Giving those legs a nice little break. Katie, you're going to do a different movement next. Three, two, one. Go ahead, stand all the way back up. Grab your weight. Grab your kettlebell. <clears throat> I'm going to demonstrate with Katie. Grab your kettlebell. Yeah, we've all shared it here. Bottoms up. Getting close. You're going to hold the bottoms up like this, both hands. And then you're going to come around the head. Squat twist. And around the head. Boom, boom, boom. There. So that's a squat in between so you can see the knees. Get ready. In five, four, three, two, go. You're just, you're just going to do a squat with a twist with that. With yeah. So squat. You can, but I just don't want you whacking yourself in the noodle. Can I trust you not to whack yourself in the noodle? Like yep, it should be. So should be your ads. Yeah, <clears throat> you are. This is your Star Wars fighting stance. Yeah. So just so you guys can see, if you have something different yeah. than a, a kettlebell, if you did have a weighted pole, you could do the exact same movement. It's going to flow a little bit different. It's going to flow a little bit faster. Yeah. The cool part is you have more space for your head, so the likelihood of hitting yourself in the head is a little bit lower. Good. Use those abs. Your belly button should be in. Everything should be braced nice and tight. Five, four, three, two. Back to your jump rope. So our jump rope is two rounds of 30 seconds. Your first round of 30 seconds, both feet are together. You're hopping side to side. Second one, you're hopping heel to toe. In five, four. So the first one is back to what we just did. The second one is the toe, to, the toe heel, toe heel. Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds, skiing downhill. Ski, 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 ski. Get those hips moving. Keep those abs tight. Get going. Don't whack yourself with your rope. That hurts no matter where you are. Whether you're home, whether you're here. Get those hips moving. Belly button should be tight. You should be noticing a different feel as you land. Good. 10 seconds before we switch. We're going to flow right into it. We're not stopping. So it's a minute of jump roping straight. If we stop, we hit ourselves. Three, two, bring those toes together, then bring the heels together. Toes, heels, toes, heels. Right into it. You're still going. Full minute. Keep moving. Heart rate should be coming up. Those hips should be feeling kind of interesting by now. Three. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I lied. Way off. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Grab your weights. We're doing kettlebell front squats or weighted front squats. <clears throat> Kettlebells up high. Squat those hips down nice and low. In five, four, three, two, go. Front squats. But you're going to use that instead of the, yeah, you got it. Front squat, abs in tight, chest up high. Drive those knees apart. Keep the arch of your foot nice and lifted. Get as low as you can. Press those knees out. 15 seconds down. <sighs> 20 seconds to go. In 10 seconds, we switch movements. Just what everyone wanted. Three, two, one. Don't drop those weights yet. Keep those kettlebells up or that dumbbell up in front. We're doing our ribbon with our squat. So that's back around the head. Back to that squat with a twist. Back around. We just did it. In three, two, one, go. And Katie just took skin off her chin with the metal pole. Go figure. So around. Kitty, 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 kitty. There we go. Yeah, we're going as best you can. Around. So remember, if you have a smaller implement, it'll float around your head a little bit closer than what she's got there. <clears throat> yes. 15 seconds. 
Yeah, you should do that. Ten seconds to go. Who? Jason. Huh? Jason. Well, yeah, besides Three, two, one. Keep that weight as best you can. Front rack position, one side. So Katie's going to rack this bar on her right shoulder. And then we're going to turn towards me. And then we're going to lunge, right side lateral lunge. Boom. Yep. In five, four, three, two, go. Is it resting on your shoulder or no? Well, if it's racked, it'll be resting on that in that spot. You're going to have to rest on your shoulder because I mean, you can go overhead if you want to. Get fancy with it. Yeah. In that rack position I mean, as much as you can. My trap is burning, but, yeah. you know, that's the goal, right? Mm-hmm. Let's see what you do. I think. Oh, this next one's gonna work out perfectly because it looks like everyone has a dumbbell at home. Laura, you're gonna do a high pull, so your your movement will be different. So pay no attention to anything that's about to happen here. Just no, I know. <laughs> yep, and that's why. I quit. That's good. Go position. I'm gonna cry. No. Curl up. Curl up. Yeah. The weight plate broke. Yeah, I'm sure I can get. Well, right now I'm not gonna get any more because it would be like eight thousand dollars to get a new plate. Maybe. We'll find out. Five, four, three, two. Katie, grab one of Sharon's dumbbells real quick. We're doing a dumbbell snatch from the knees. You guys, I'm 99%. No, well, you're going to use that. If you, can use, if you can't do it with that, then do the dumbbell. But if you can, so bring it back. Dumbbell snatch. We're coming from the knee position. Yeah, you're doing a high pull. So you're coming from the knee position. Snatch straight overhead. Boom. We've all done these at least once or twice. Snapping right up, jumping up as high as you can in five. Four, three, two, go. Yeah. Yeah, if you can jump, snap, go. Good. What? Why can't Laura snatch that? She, well, she can, but then she'll scream at us for, like, not being able to snatch well. Well, does she want the dumbbell off snatching? No, she can do high pulls. Let her, let her do the high pulls. She needs to practice her snatch. Oh, my goodness. Just let her do that. We've gone too far. We're 20 seconds in. How next, else is she gonna get better? On the next round, she can use the 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 balloon yeah. kettlebell. Oh, see, look at that! Look at those snatches. I'm just trying to help Laura. Never mind, she's snatching over we there. Everything's fine. Quarantine. We lean for quarantine. <laughs> Leave quarantine <laughs> lean. I like that. Five, four, three, two. Switch sides. I'm going to leave quarantine drunk after today because this is insane. In five, four, three, two, go. What do you, what do you what are you she getting now? Go. Oh, yeah, we can all go. <laughs> we can all go. <laughs> I'm scared to travel that far by myself. Support. Support. Yeah. We, 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 we need what? <laughs> Want to open the car door? This is super comfy and it's the best. Let me tell you. That's what I figured. You're doing great. Yeah. You're doing splendid. 15 seconds, keep those abs tight. So as you're pulling through, it's not your low back that you're feeling, it's your glutes firing, your hamstrings firing, the back of your shoulders. Five, four, three, two, back to your jump rope. 90 seconds of jump rope. The first 30 seconds, we're going side to side. We're doing a little skate. Second 30 seconds, we're going in, we're going out. Last 30 seconds, we're basically doing a little run in place. 90 seconds straight. We're not stopping. In five, four, three, two, go. Side to side, skiing, skiing down the hill. Going, going side to side. Go side to side. Side to side. Side to side. Side to side. There you go. Hey, we should go for your birthday. Yeah, we should. Yes, go to Mexico, please, for your birthday. Let's do that. Yes. Yes. Okay.
Yes. God, yes. Huh? Three, two, toes in, toes out, toes in, toes yeah. out. Right into it. Go, 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 go. Keep that heart rate up. You should notice those hips moving a little bit differently. Everything should be feeling good. Legs should be starting to burn a little bit in different places. We like that. We like awkward burning. Oh, we do. All the awkwardness. 20 seconds to go. Sorry, 10, 10, 10. I'm, I'm wrong. I was back. I misspoke. Three, two, and we switch forward and back, forward and back, like a little run in place. A little run in place. It's okay. Go as best you can. Boom. I like how you keep drifting away. Boom, boom, boom. Right there, right there. Yeah, just like that. Forward and back as best you can. The, the goal is to not quack yourself in the shins. That's literally, oh boy, jacked up this tripod real quick. Boom, keep going. And it hurts in the butt. You're not a good banner when you stop jump roping. Five, four, three, two, back to your weight. Right side rack, front squat. So we're just holding that kettlebell or dumbbell or whatever, that right side, squatting up and down, driving those knees out nice and wide, lifting the arch of that foot. In five, four, yep, three, two, go. Boom, just like that. Perfect. Heart rate should be coming up. We should be earning our conditioning day. And your conditioning. All the crazy people at the park, us included. It's a good time. 20 seconds. Yeah. Don't walk by her. She's screaming randomly. Yeah. She's not yelling any words, though. <laughs> she just keeps yelling, son of a biscuit. Fudge. Five, four, three, two, switch sides. And five, four, three. Stay tight. On the plus side, your leg stuff is almost, well, not really almost on. I lied to you completely. Blatant lie. I would love a sandwich. Do you have one with you? <laughs> Who do we call needs a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. Ten seconds. Who? <laughs> everyone needs a sandwich right now. <laughs> it's just the, it's the kind of day we're having. Five, four, three, two. Take that weight. You're back to the halo squat with a twist. Then five. Oh, here's Katie doing it. Five. Do it. Do it. Yep. There you go. Around. Just in case you weren't sure what it was. Now five, four, three, two. Go. They should. Not. You should know what we're doing. As fatigue sets in, brain power goes down, and we know that. Like you know. You're not teaching me. You know what you're doing. I like to quiz people. Yeah, I like to quiz people. I need you to say. I say. I say. Okay. All this is next. You need to know what comes next. If you don't know, look at the person in the front row. Yeah. They know. 15 seconds to go. I'm over here thinking like the square root of 25. That's what we're quizzing on people on. Nope. Yeah, well, it's fine. Because right, Five, what are they gonna do when I'm four, three, what are they gonna do when two. Rack that dumbbell right side or rack that weight right side, right side lateral lunge. In five, four, three, two, go. I'm just trying to help the people. Trying to help people. People helping people. Shiny, happy people holding hands. Yeah, that's because we're here. Miss Pat and I talked about it. It's called a trainer gravity. Wherever there's trainers and people, people need to walk right there. You guys have heard me say it before. Like, oh, look, there's people. I must go there. Yeah. That was not six feet. See, but if you hit them. Then you have an excuse. That's where you throw a reverse lunge in there real quick. Oh, I didn't know it was going to. Five, four, three, two, switch sides. In five, four, 
three, two, go. God, I hope you guys can hear this. We've completely lost it on this side of the world, and uh, I'm alone with them. I'm afraid for my life. I'm afraid for their sanity. If I don't make it on Tuesday, it's it's actually their fault, not mine. So Katie's going to take over if I'm not here on Tuesday. I mean, on the plus side, you guys are you guys are safe, so that's good. At least, yeah, somebody come looking for my body. Fifteen seconds. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two. Weights go down. Ice skaters, you're still. You say ab time? Not ab time yet. You're still wearing your vest. We got our skaters in five, four, three, two, skaters, go. What was the order supposed to be? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that time. Well, that's the nice part when Ava's here. She, she cruises by every few minutes and goes, what time is it now? Sometimes people don't want to know. <laughs> I think we can buy her a clock today. So she can see it after the next show. Yeah. Still running clock right behind me. What time is it now? Keep going. We're almost there. We've got 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two. Grab those dumbbells. We've got dumbbell snatches one more time. Then we got plyo lunges. Then we go to the upper body stuff. Just what everyone wanted. In five. Dumbbell snatch. Five, four, three, two, go. Crazy hair, don't care. Ha -ha. You're not snatching. Everyone's watching you not snatch. I don't care. There you go. Do you care? No. Oh, okay. She doesn't care. They should know what is snatching. They don't know. I brought the angry man. I can't help them. We've all hit that spot. They're not here. Yeah. Fifteen seconds. Yeah. Everyone's looking good. Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. Drive through that snatch. I want you to think about throwing that dumbbell over your head, throwing that kettlebell over your head, punching through the ceiling. Three, two, switch sides. In five, four, three, two, go. Throwing it up, using those glutes, using those hamstrings, use those abs. <clears throat> this is what we spent all last month fixing, your entire body to get those kinetic chains to work in one unit. So when you throw that weight up, you're using the right muscles to throw it up, not just whatever you can. 15 seconds, just keep plugging away. Five, four, three, two. Grab that dumbbell in your right hand. Yeah, you're not done with it yet. We've got our plyo lunges, right side loaded. Yeah. You're loading right side, then you're loading left side. It's a minute straight. You'll switch in between. I'll tell you when. So, uh, so you're doing, so right there. Katie's got it. No, down low. Down low. And then you're doing your plyo lunge. Katie will show you that weight's going to stay on your right side. Boom, switch. Boom. There. When I tell you to, you'll switch your hands. So you're going to be going plyo lunges for a full minute. Three, two, one, go. I don't know. I'll be doing it Zoom still, so you'll be just watching on the screen. And I'll be, like, hiding somewhere. I'll be hiding in an office Zooming everyone in a hazmat suit with headphones in so I can't hear anyone complain. Come on. 15 seconds in. Oh, shit. <laughs> 10 seconds. Wow. Switch sides. Keep going, though. Keep moving. Switch fast. Switch fast. Keep going. Abs have to stay tight. If your abs are not tight, you're going to feel like you're going to fall over. We want you to feel as tight as possible. We want you to move as quickly, as precisely as you can. 
15 seconds to go. Yes. Oh, fuck. 10 seconds. Keep it going. Not more than five, seconds. five, four, three, two, and break. Shake those arms out. Shake those legs out. You're still going to need that dumbbell in your hand or that weight in your hand. Yeah, I, no, I didn't say put anything down. I just said shake things out. So we got right side back to that shoulder press. So we didn't forget about it. We just moved it. We got rid of all the leg stuff for right now. In three, for right now. Keep in mind, I said that very specifically. Three, two, one, shoulder press. Go. So if you don't have a light enough weight, you can use your vest and do shoulder presses. If you have to do a push press, you can. You're just going to end up doing less repetitions as we go. The goal is to have a heavy enough weight where you're going to need to do that push in a little bit. Because some of us, all of us actually, are going to get to do some split jerks today too. What? Was that? <laughs> what the? Focus. Yeah. Oh, it's a puppy. How's it going? I I quit. I just just gonna pack it all up and go home. You thought I was bad. I did. Five, three, sorry, two, one. Switch sides. In three, two, one, go. Yeah. I'm dying over here. I need to go home now. I can't. Uh, uh, I'm a hot mess. Yeah. We got 20 seconds to go. I haven't even been quarantined. That's the sad part. Still got to work every day. I'm on vacation. Are people buying cars? Yeah, they sold 25 cars since Saturday. Yeah. In five, four, three, two. We're going back to that right side. We're doing our split jerk with that dumbbell. So Katie's going to take some water and then demonstrate real quick. Katie, Katie, take quickly, 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 quickly. Here we go. They can take a water break too. They don't need water. They're machines. They're literally sitting there crying. Literally, I'm watching like Barbie throw a fit over here. I actually think she just kicked Barbie her puppy. She did. She's just like literally kicking dogs. It's just mean. Split jerk. Doesn't matter which leg goes forward or back. You're going to split, pop that weight overhead, boom, step the feet together. Drop to the shoulder. 45 seconds, all one side. In five, four, three, two, go. Boom. Same leg. If, I mean, you can alternate if you want to. That's fine. You're going to find there's one side that's going to work better for you. It's going to feel better. Ideally, we're going to do both sides anyhow. <laughs> Cindy says, thank you for taking your time. <laughs> she says, you're welcome. Keep it together. Good. Abs stay tight. If you notice you're leaning back a lot, that means your abs are not in the way they should be. No, I'm, I'm looking. Yeah, I'm over, over here. Yeah, I mean, you're going to lean a little bit if you're on an incline. That's going to happen. Three, two, one. Switch sides. In five, four, three, two, go. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't listen to the sound yesterday. Huh. Oh, lovely. Nothing's happening. I forgot them again. They're on the charger. They're they're well charged right now. Two days in a row charged. Well, because I didn't know the audio came out bad. I thought it came out good. It was something about eighty percent See, now I know that. Now I know that without headphones, it's not good. What you don't know is I actually had cams. In three, two. One, we're going down for our hard push-ups. So you get to put those uh, kettlebells, uh, weights down, whatever they are. Remember, at, in that push-up, you're pulling your rib cage down towards your pelvic bone, your pelvic bone up towards your rib cage. Everything else is the same as a regular push-up. Just pulling the ground together in five, four, three, two, go. I mean, it is. The movement is exactly the same. It's just the muscles that are engaged. And face plant. 
And that's why we're not looking at Vanna right now, because she just bit the concrete. Don't worry, she's okay. Theoretically. Oh boy. <laughs> <clears throat> Not even kidding. Send help. <clears throat> help or ADD medication or a combination of both. Apparently, got a dose of everybody here. Three, two, one. We're holding that up position. We've got shoulder taps next. So we're in that high plank position. Ribs are still pulling down, pulling down towards our pelvis. Pelvis pulling towards our ribs. Alternate taps. Remember, trying to keep those hips as stable as possible. Three, two, go. Yes. Yes. We will call you the parkettes. Like the rockettes, but parking area. Oh, you did? What? What? So remember your hips are up the whole time. It can be, yeah, just one hand. It can be however you can balance it the best. Hips are up, belly buttons in. Three, two, one, go. Where's my weights caddy? <laughs> I'm just going to keep our eyes on Katie. You guys don't need to see me. I adjusted the camera so you can see where she is. You know, all you have to do is listen to my voice. Because like I said, for the remainder of the time, we're pretty much going to be in this position. Listen to me! Damn it. Arms are tight. Glutes are tight. Just keep pressing as best you can. Hips should be up. That butt should be squeezing. Screaming in the background. Three, two, one. Hip stay up. Transfer sides. And then we're right into it. Three, two, one. Go. Yeah. We shout. We scream. We scream. We shout. It's a good time. It's a good time. Oh, my God. Those hips up. It's only gonna get better from here. That's the awesome part. Yeah. Tushy should be on fire. Now cross into a PG-13 movie. We've got we're rehearsing another we're on set. That's fine. Everything's fine. There's been no F bombs, so we're still PG-13. Three, two, one. Switch your hands back. Your right knee is gonna come off the ground. Your right hip to heel is gonna come off the ground. Belly buttons in. Flip those hips. Lift the right leg. Hold it, and then press the right arm. So your hips are still up. Good, just keep it up. Three, two, go. 
Same length, same leg, same arm. No, the legs are right leg. Yeah, there you go. Boom, yes. So you're uh, so you're gonna hit. So you're gonna hit right. You can't, you can't stop. There you go. Knees up. Good. And your hips are up as well. Had a good kick. Had a good kick. Had a good stomp. we go, apparently. Get that butt cheek should be on fire. There you go. Ten seconds. It is very distracting. Three, two, one, switch sides. Abs are in tight. So your left arm is now pressing. Your left knee is in the air. In three, two, go. Hold it up and press. It does. Oh, yeah. Oh, you dropped that. Yeah, drop the angle a little bit. Yeah, good. Because that keeps the ab loaded a little bit more. But squeeze that right glute. So make sure that right glute is contracted. Make sure your butt stays off the ground. That's fine. You're, you're doing what you can. At this point, everyone's doing the same thing. Everyone's right now staring at their ceiling. Three, two, one. Grab that weight with both hands. Bring it up the side of your chest. Belly buttons in, lift that weight straight over, uh, straight to the sky, straight to the ceiling, whatever it is. Bridge those hips back up one more time. We're still holding that bridge, and then you're going to take that weight all the way back towards the ground. And up. Good. 45 seconds in five, four, three, two, go. There is not. Oh, I'm sure we could. Sure we could. Actually, no. says hi, the workout slows down and or stops. Here is not happening. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's a big part of it because we want you guys moving in ways that you're not used to moving. as tight as you can. Point the toes down. Yep, 45 seconds. No points towards your Yeah. If you can, straighten out as fast as you can through here. Quad, yeah. Quad should be as locked out as you can get them. Everyone can go to a different spot. 
Fix it there. You're right there. Right there. Good. Perfect. That's all we're doing. We're just hanging out here 45 seconds, making those quads work, making those hamstrings stretch. Keep holding. We're almost there. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, time. You were done, done. Oh, shit, I slipped on my hair. Don't, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Laura almost killed herself with her own kettlebell. So big things, and you, you probably all noticed this too, so to Sharon's point, when there's less distractions to what you're doing, you tend to work harder. There's no, there's no stopping. There's no change in pace. There's no change in cadence. Usually if, if you've done these workouts, <laughs> You can see that you go for movement, we talk about something, we go to the next movement. No, it's equal. So, all right. Hey, Anthony, any update? What's going on with the gym now? Are they really going to open the second phase? Have you guys heard anything? We have no idea. They should have sent you an email that will tell you um, there will be information on there and then a survey. It's all going to be dependent on the members, uh, the clients, and everyone's willingness to go back and ready to go back. So if you guys aren't ready to go back, we're not opening. If you are ready to go back, but we're, um, the way it was explained to me is very fluid. So every decision that's made can either change plus or minus, all depending on what the government says and what the members do. Okay. Okay. All righty. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. You are very welcome. I will see you guys um, throughout the week, and I'll see you next Saturday.